What's going on guys? My name's Josh and I'm back today with another Scream 5 video. Before I get started, you could please hit that subscribe button and please like this video. And you better watch out because it's time to get this video started. Let's go. What's going on guys? It's been a minute since I made a Scream 5 video, so I figured I'd make a new video. Um, first up, we have a finally have a picture of Nev Campbell on the set of Scream 5. So granted, it's not a set picture um, where she's filming, but one of the, I think, people working on the film took a picture with Nev Campbell. So we at least know, you know, she's part of filming now. We got our first picture of her. I was, I'm really actually shocked, though, I gotta say, that we haven't had any other pictures of Nev Campbell released or any like set pictures. Um, I know we had that picture of Courtney Cox a little while back where, you know, she was wearing her um, pantsuit and looks like she was on a, on a scene of a murder scene. But I really thought, you know, we were start, gonna start to see more pictures, you know, at least of Nev Campbell and more pictures of Courtney Cox as well. Um, it's just crazy how I feel like after you know they both arrived you know and they're filming now that it's been super secretive and super quiet um so i'm just kind of shocked at that it seems like the um original or the new cast you see them they're always together if you look at their instagrams at all i feel like they're always at the beach together and they all hang out together so and then you even seen when david arquette was there he hung out with the new cast a few times. I know he did a painting class for them once. And then he also, um, I think, went on a hike with some of them. So we did see David Arquette with the new cast as well. But then even on their Instagram stories, I have not seen Courtney Cox or Gail Weathers, either one of them, on set. So I just, yeah, maybe they're just being super secretive or not being able to record or, um, yeah. But then... Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll kind of see. One thing I will say, though, I do believe David Arquette is done filming already. It seems like I know some of his snaps. He was in Los Angeles. So I'm assuming he's done filming already, like done with Scream 5. My only hope is, with all of this, is I want a Nev Campbell, you know, Courtney Cox, David Arquette, and Marley Shelton. I want a scene of the originals, all four of them together. Um, especially even if, you know, um, Deputy Judy's not part of it, just the main three. I definitely want at least one scene in Scream 5 of all three together. I'll be very, I would say if they're all filming separately, it'd just be weird. Um, and one thing I will say too, with Nev Campbell, it's kind of so many, it has, I have so many questions. Like, who is she filming with? You know, if David Arquette's already done, is she filming her scenes mainly with, um, Gail Weathers or like Courtney Cox, are they filming with um, Nev Campbell? I just am curious on like who is she filming with then if she's not filming with the originals. So I'm sure we'll find out more as time goes on, but it's kind of shocking how good they've kept everything um, a secret as well. So another thing I want to mention, especially since filming now has been going on for, you know, a couple months. And as far as I know, filming is supposed to end, I think, I believe at the end of November. One thing I want to kind of re-go re over is those rumors about, you know, um, Selena Gomez and Skeet Ulrich. So I know those rumors all started because pretty much of the cast online posts um, via Instagram. Um, that's kind of what speculated a lot of those rumors, especially with Selena Gomez and then with Skeet Ulrich. But one thing, though, since that those initial rumors, I don't, I don't think there's been any evidence that they've in, been in North Carolina filming. So now that it's, you know, filming starting to come closer to where it's going to end, it's kind of like, were those just rumors? Are they going to be part of Scream 5 or, you know, are they not? Because I know Ski Ulrich, I believe, he's filming another movie in Canada. And I'm not sure where Selena Gomez is, but it doesn't seem like just on social media that they've been in North Carolina, unless they were in North Carolina at one point and just were super secretive and no one knew about it. So we'll kind of see if those rumors are true or not. That could be just rumors in the end and maybe they're not part of it. I will say with Selena Gomez, if she's not part of Scream 5, to me, it's not the end of the world. Well, I think it would have been cool to have her in it and, you know, she could have been a cool opening kill. But ultimately, I don't need someone famous to be the opening kill. If you give me a good scene that's scary, that's all I need in an opening kill. I don't need it to be someone famous. It could be, you know, a, a new actor for all I care. As long, Especially if it's going to be a new character anyways. I don't need it to be famous um, to be the open and kill. So if she's not in there, you know, that's, I'll be okay with that as well. Now, as far as Ski Ulrich, 
if this movie is true and there's going to be flashback scenes, I don't really know what the point of flashback scenes would be without having Ski Ulrich being in those flashback scenes. I feel like, um, especially if we go back to the time of the original murders, I don't really need to see flashback scenes if Ski Ulrich is not part of those flashback scenes or if Billy Loomis isn't in those scenes. So I am kind of, I don't know. We'll kind of see how those work. Um, as far as that goes. Now, next I want to talk about, and this was about a week ago, but I never actually covered it, so I just want to bring it up to everyone else. So the uh, act, the voice actor of Ghostface, Roger L. Jackson, he actually has not confirmed to be, you know, part of Scream 5 yet, which I'm shocked about. I just kind of assumed that he was already part of the movie, but he did a recent interview with a podcast called the Vocal Q podcast and they pretty much asked him went out right and asked him it says is it official are you coming back for scream five and roger l jackson responded by saying i haven't seen anything announced have you confirming that he's not part of so pretty much he confirmed that he's not part of scream five as of yet which to me is absolutely crazy because the ghost the scream brand if you think about the brand itself is the mask that's something super important and the voice both of those are key to the franchise. They're part of its brand. So I think it's definitely risky changing anything with that. Um, I feel like the, the TV show tried to change the mask um, for the screen mask and I feel like it didn't go over well. It just, you don't change something that's already working, something that already has a strong brand. Um, so I definitely think if they change the voice, it's gonna be a huge mistake um, as far as changing, you know, the voice actor. It definitely should be Roger L. Jackson. Um, the way, and it's just crazy to me that, you know, you had, you know, this movie is pulling all of these people back. It brought the whole original cast back. Um, and it's bringing certain other characters back. So I feel like they put in so much work to get this movie together that if they do all of that, they get all that together, all these fan favorites are coming back, but then you don't have the voice. That's just crazy to me. That's like, who dropped the ball on that? That's like having a Thanksgiving dinner, having all the dishes, any foods that everyone would want, but not having any plates. It just, it's just crazy. So I'm hopeful though that, you know, he's still in talks for Scream 5 and they'll work something out and he'll be, you know, come back as the voice. Now, one thing, because he is a voice actor, I think they could do the filming part and then insert his voice later. So I'm hoping there's still some kind of negotiations as far as him being part of Scream 5. Now, one way you can um, voice your opinion on Twitter, um, this I think the actual Vocal Q podcast came up with this hashtag was a hashtag no scream five without Roger. So if you are upset about this and you want, you know, him to be part of Scream 5, I definitely would encourage everyone to use this hashtag so we can bring some attention and, you know, say that, you know, we want Scream 5, but we want it with um, his, his Roger L. Jackson's voice. Um, and yeah, I definitely agree with that too. It wouldn't be the same without him. So um, that's kind of the news update. There hasn't been, I would feel like, too much news as of late. It seems like ever since, you know, Nev Campbell's got on set, it's been super quiet. I just, yeah, there hasn't been too much that's come out. Um, but with the next upcoming weeks, I'm sure we'll get some more new Scream 5 news and I'll definitely be sure to cover it. Um, I also kind of took a break, a little bit of break from Twitter. I know there was a lot of spoiler leaks out on Twitter. I didn't actually see the leaks, but I know people were talking about that on Twitter. I just kind of avoided Twitter for like a week as far as, because I didn't want to see any spoilers. So if you are watching this, and you have seen those leaks, please don't comment on that in the comment section. I'm just really, you know, this this channel, I don't really want any major spoilers, any major leaks on this channel. So if you do have if you have seen those leaks, please don't talk about it on the channel. Um, but anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.